Italian craft beer. Let's give these a crack. Welcome to Pint Sized. C'è pioggia che ci bagnerà Se tu mi bruci dentro al cuore In tutti i sogni che farò Welcome to the show, or should that be Benvenuto, courtesy of the beer boffins over at honestbrew.co.uk. Remember to use the code PINTSIZE for a massive discount off your first big beer order. We've got two stunning cans from Italian craft brewer, brewer, brewer bag of bod. We've got two stunning cans from Italian craft brewer. Oh my God, what is a brewer? Except for all the people that are going to be watching this, they're going to go boo. We've got two stunning cans from Italian craft brewer, crack. Or should that be crash, crash slash shack. Krishlashlak, Kalkalash. Crack have been brewing in Padua or Padova, uh, just west of Venice, it's just over there, for about three years. All right, Padova or Padua? That's Pad. No, just a bit over. We've had one Italian craft brewer on the show before, Burrificio Rurale's APA, and it was pretty great. But these guys have been blowing up across Europe the past year or so. Even more than Verdun have been blowing up recently. Oh, too soon. Oh God. I think Italian craft beer can struggle to make its way into the UK mainstream market. I mean, I had a quick Google about some of the famous breweries and it's things like Lover's Beer, Black Barrels, Ducato, and it seems like only Peroni, Menabrea and Moretti make their way over, which is a real shame. Because I bet they make great beer, just like they make great wine. Someone once, someone once told me that Nastro Azzurro means beer and I believed it for the longest time. What the fuck? Anyway, Crack's five strong beer core range is all IPAs. Oh. They do a few stouts and barley wines and they are dipping their toes recently into worldwide collaborations with breweries like Magic Rock and Cigar City. They champion freshness and are obsessed with getting the beer to their customers in the best condition possible. Now what's with that name? Krislashlak. Crack. Apparently it means creative revolution, alternative knowledge. Although I'm pretty sure it's canned right, and cold. Mm. Or maybe it's quaffably rad. Also nice. These ones have been cold chained straight from Northern Italy over to the UK thanks to the best British beer distributors around, honestbrew.co.uk. Today we've got their Mundaka 4.6% Session IPA with Simcoe and Citra, along with their Gorilla. 5.8% IPA with Simcoe, Mosaic and Galaxy. I'm hoping that we're going to get something a little bit special here. So let's put them in a glass and see what they're like. Okay, so here we go. I mean, Crack make stunning cans and bottles. Just head over to the website. Probably crack.it, crack it. Oh God. And take a look. I mean, I love this one. This, is one, this makes me want to get on a boat and wear a blue and white striped shirt. In the Navy. Sail the seven seas in the Navy. You can put your mind at ease in the Navy. Oh my God. Oh, that smells rich as a rumpin. Okay, this is their 4.6% Session IPA Mundaka. Straight from Northern Italy, one of the country's biggest and brightest potentials when it comes to craft. Nastro Azzurro. Oh, it smells like milk. Oh, it tastes like milk. Okay, so there we go in the glass. A little bit of haze, only a little bit though. Light golden, lively carbonation, nice persistent head on there as well. That's a lovely looking beer. Okay, big hoppy. Oh, there's almost kind of a bread but it's not too bready. It's kind of a Hovis best of both. Yeah, citrus, almost kind of an apple-y, big juicy, kind of a pineapple, but it's kind of either a tin pineapple or like a pineapple cocktail. It's got a little bit of herb. Anyway, cheers. Or should that be whatever it is in Italian? Huh, yeah, oh no, hmm. oh no, oh no. Oh, that's, oh no. Okay, I mean, there's, just feels a bit dead. There's a bit of citrus in there, a bit of herbal hoppiness. There's there's that, there is a bit of kind of bready, I mean the pineapple's kind of gone, bit of a malty finish on it as well. I'd say that's the most pleasant thing about it is, is the finish. It's nice and bready nutty. It's just too thin. There's no body there. There's no body there. Hello. That's a real shame. I mean, coming in at 4.6%, I'm trying to find silver linings here. <laughs> coming in at 4.6%, that's a real easy drinker. There's a nice finish to it too. Ah, it just feels a bit like pasta. I'm having the Gorilla can pack a bit more of a punch. Let's get a glass and not drink that one anymore. So here we go, Cracks Gorilla IPA 5.8%, another awesome can. I love this slash down the back. 
Kraslakash. Uh, yeah, and you've got big old fists, there's a monkey one, there's a couple of lady hands, there's a big old pirate. Very nice hands, if you're into that sort of thing. God. Uh, Let's see what we've got. There we go, in the glass, uh, you've got a lovely, nice amount of head sticking around, nice frothy head as well, not much carbonation. And that's a bit clearer, yeah, that's almost, that's almost clear. Uh, nice kind of amber golden colour on it as well. Oh, that's better. Oh my word, lemon, candied lemon. Oh yeah, marmalade, kind of a, oh, there's something thick in there. You can smell thick, apparently. Uh, yeah, it's just hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Bit of lemon custard. Yeah, oh my word. It's like a custard cream that someone's dipped in marmalade. Bienvenuto. Mm, that's better. Mm, that's very pleasant. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. Well, that's that's what that's more what you want in there. Okay, there's a citrus tang. There's a nice bit of rind, kind of pithy, quite concentrated flavour. Uh, Big hot bitterness. It's nicely balanced that one actually. Nice citrus refreshment. Quite a chunky ABV, but still nice and sessionable. Yeah, it's piney fresh, tangy finish, good body. Oh yeah, just like me. Hmm, it's got me dancing. Da -da. Oh. Uh, oh, yum. That's almost all for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, last week I attended the Brewdog Beer Geek Awards, which are a thing, apparently. Oh. Uh. <coughs> That's why I didn't win. Uh, we were up for the beer reviewer geek category. Unfortunately, we were unsuccessful once again. Uh, we went to the rewards, rewards? No rewards for me. Went to the awards last year uh, and had the same result, but it was a great night. Some actually really good beer. Not a lot of it was brewed up though. Uh. More importantly, you can head over to our Instagram story, which we've made a permanent highlight of our day. Uh, we went down to London before the awards and checked out some great spots, uh, kind of in central East London. Uh, went to Mother Kelly's, had some really tasty verdant. And yeah, and some other places, The Sun. That's a, that's a great place to go. So remember, head over to instagram.com forward slash pint size pics or just type in pint size pics. And thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like what you saw. Drop me a comment if you've had any of Kurslashlax beers before or what you think does a better job when it comes to Italian craft beer. Because I'd love to get it on the show and see what the country of the greatest cheese on the planet. What's it called, burrata? Okay, yeah, uh, can do. So yeah, that's all for this episode. As I said, subscribe if you like what you saw and thanks so much for watching. Ciao.